hello guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create passport size photo in microsoft word like these after opening a microsoft word document get to layout tape in the page setup group go to size and right at the bottom we have more page sizes simply give a width of six and a height of four inches right over here click on ok and this is going to be the page size that we'll use for designing passport size photos let me zoom it up now you can go to insert tape in the pictures this device and on the desktop i have some photos i'm gonna bring this photo right over here you can see it has a dark background and microsoft world versions beyond 2013 have inbuilt features of remove background you can use it to remove background you can simply mark the areas to keep I'm going to keep this head right over here and I'm going to keep this area as well and mark areas to remove. I'm going to remove all these areas. Now if you click outside and there you can see the background is gone. It just didn't do the perfect background removal so I'm going to use another simple tool to remove the background. Let me show you how you can do that. Simply go to this website www.remove.bg and upload your image right from here you just don't need to sign up or log in into this particular website click and choose the image whose background you want to remove i'm gonna click over it open and you can see it's being uploaded right over here and you can see it's done now you have two options download and download in hd for downloading in hd you need to sign up and log in for my purpose it's enough and i'm gonna click on download and there you can see it gets downloaded and just click and see how beautifully the background has been removed. Now open the Microsoft Word, go to insert, click on pictures, this device and I'm going to upload the photo that I have just got its background removed. And there it is. Just go to picture format and here click on text wrap in front of the text. Now you can just move it around on your word canvas double click over it go to crop tool click on crop and crop the extra part that you don't want to be included in your photo let me do it like this now click outside and there it is now this particular photo don't have any background since it is on a white page it looks like as if it has a white background it is enough and if you get a print of it it would be a white background but if you want a different background then you can go to insert tape shapes and choose this rectangular shape and draw a rectangle over the photo like this there it is now right click over it and send to bake just double click over it in the selection pane you can see we have option picture 2 and rectangle 3 you can see picture 2 is already selected now hold the Control key and click on rectangle 3. Now both rectangle as well as the pictures are selected. Now right click over it and you can simply group them like this. Now it's just a one complete photo. You can simply place it anywhere and get a print of it. But for my purpose, I want to have a white background. So I'm going to stick with the white background. So this is how you can give it a different background. For my purpose, I will stick with only white background. Double click over it and right over here in the size group, you can give it a passport size, which is going to be 1.7. And this one is going to be 1.3. And that's it. Now you can go to picture format on the picture border and click on. Now click on any of the weight that you want for your photo. I'm going to apply this one point. And that's it. Let me keep it right over here. Now you can simply hold the control and shift key and drag it towards right to make a copy of it like this. Again, control and shift key and make a copy like this. Let's make one more copy. And there you can see we have our photos. Select all the photos by holding the shift key and then clicking on each of these photos. Now hold the right mouse button and bring them into the middle like this you can also change the spacing if you want now again hold the control key and make a duplicate like this 
by dragging the photos down holding the right mouse button and there it is now you can simply press ctrl p from your keyboard select the number of the copies in the printer just choose the printer that you have attached with your system and simply give it the ok command and you will get a beautiful print like this i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching